squeeze some plans around. Okay, so in a word, ideal. Yes. Today is ideal. Enjoying Perfect. that weather right now is Mark out in our Publix kitchen. Thanks, Aiden. I am back with a Chef Ansley. We are in the Publix kitchen, and today we have a little bit of a treat that we're making, and this yes. one is also featured in one of the classes, correct? Yes, this Saturday's class, the New World of Rosé Wines. Um, this is our dessert. Uh, it's going to be a day of all kinds of rosés, newer, older, sparkling, kind of whole, a whole uh, wide variety. It sounds like a very fun class. And then the other thing I want to mention too, some of these fill up pretty fast, right? So for yes. the second quarter, you might want to get on registration now. Yes, yes. So that's going to open for registration on this Saturday, which is March 6th. So starting March 6th, you'll be able to register for all of our second quarter classes. Well, very cool. All right, so let's dive into this recipe. All right. So we've got a couple of different components here. One I wanted to bring up is how us in the kitchen, we like to line our dishes with parchment paper. So this is gonna be the first day of the rest of your life. So <laughs> you roll out the parchment paper, take a section of it, you fold it like you're gonna cut out a snowflake, right? So you're gonna fold it, you're gonna fold it again, you're gonna fold it again until it's this nice little triangle, right? Flip your pan over kind of find like the middle of your pan, you're gonna stick your finger down and you're gonna fold it over, right? You kind of create this little crease here. Now you can take your scissors, your knife, you could rip it. We're just gonna rip it. <laughs> All right, so you flip your pan back over, you spray with your pan spray. It just helps it stick. If you don't have any pan spray, a little water will do the trick. You unfold it and you lay it right down on oh, it. Wow. Right? That's a nice little trick. Yeah, and having it up on the sides, no worries, because it gives you that extra little like surface area to peel it off later. So this over here is what our cake looked like after it was out. So this is, um, this is the bottom side of it. You can kind of see on the sides here, this is the creases from the paper, whatever. Um, but I like to have the bottom side up because this is the more porous side because we have a nice little ginger syrup here that we've been working on this morning that we're gonna put on top of it. And then having the porous side, obviously it's going to kind of seep through there. Yes, oh, yes, I like it's that. gonna yeah. soak in, it's gonna take in all this juice. So this syrup here is essentially a ginger simple syrup. It has ginger beer as its base, a little bit of sugar and some crystallized ginger in addition to some ginger paste. So it is packed loaded with that ginger. <laughs> we've been smelling it all morning. We were like, man, this would, this would really clear out your sinuses if you were sick. A lot of ginger in there, a lot of ginger in there. So we're just gonna take it and we're gonna drizzle it on top. I have a little pastry brush here, Ooh, little warm, that I'm just gonna take because it helps soak up all of, all of that juice. It's got some of the crystallized ginger in there too, so you can kind of see it. It's okay if it sits on top. And how do you know that it's ready then to be put on top of that? So it's cake? about viscosity. Nice, nice technical term for us here. You want to check it and see that it's nice and thick. Yeah. Um, you can do that. I don't have one on me, um, but you could take it and you could put a spatula or a spoon in it. If you flip it over and pull, you pull your finger across the back of it, and if it stays, so you've got your spoon, you pull your finger across. If the liquid doesn't start to pool into the middle of your spoon, you know it's thick enough. Okay, because I noticed yeah. here, it's almost like a, a syrup type consistency yeah, yeah. right now. It's a yeah. little loose right now. It could be thicker, um, so we could keep it on there longer. Um, but it not being as thick just means in this instance, it'll soak in a little bit sure. more. Yeah. Because we have porous side up. We're yes, good. Yes, we've got that porous <laughs> side up. Yep. So inside this cake, we have apricots in addition to some of the ginger. So we should be able to see, oop, not on that side. You can see right there, there's some little apricots in there. But it's a nice light cake. Got a little piece for you over here. Oh, thank here. you. Yeah. So and it's interesting it too, dry. because you're also pairing this up with wine as well. Yes, yes, it's gonna be paired um, with a sparkling rosé. We're gonna do the um, Mum Napa Rosé brew. I it's love it. It's gonna be a nice little, Nice little sparkle for you guys. Well, to learn more, you go to Publix.com. This will also be on newsforjacks.com slash recipes. And don't forget to book the classes. They're filling up fast. They, they are. open up soon for the second quarter. Yes, sir. Well, thank you so much. You're Good welcome. Let's stick around. More to come right after this.
Blue skies outside, and we're going to look at a pretty nice forecast as temperatures warm into the 70s today.